Hey guys, Dominic here, and I'm just gonna go through uh, four major core exercises that we do with our clients. We're gonna start off with two of the pretty much safest ones to do to begin with. We're doing a hanging knee raise. So you obviously have to be able to hang from a bar first, and that's a very good shoulder exercise as you get uh, better at that. Bring it into a knee raise like this, and it's a very easy way to work on contracting your abs, where you have no choice but to work on the core. As you get better, work on straightening the legs out, and try and go for about 10, 15, maybe even 20 second holds. But obviously start with just bringing your knees up towards the chest first, hanging from a bar. As we move on from there, we move into a pal-off press, and both the previous and this exercise are very good exercises um, to do. As I said, they're quite safe to begin with. Um, if you've been having trouble with your lower back, um, to put your abs in uh, the driving seat as opposed to your lower back in driving seat. Get it into an athletic position with the band tethered to a post there and just move the hands in and out or just do holes or circles or move it up and down to challenge yourself a little bit more. Um, you could also try a half kneeling position as well. So there's loads of options on this exercise, but the band will be trying to pull you over the whole time. So it's a great exercise to challenge uh, your core. Common mistakes in this position are that if, if even if I'm half kneeling or standing is the back is too overarched like that. You need to tuck that pelvis under a little bit more, really use your abs and not overextend that lower back. This also goes for being in a standing position then as well. So the same thing will be true that a lot of people will get themselves into a poor position and kind of go, no, I don't really feel it in my abs, I feel it in my back still. It's probably because they're overextended. Generally, the hip flexors are quite tight in that same person then as well, but not always. Um, our next core exercise then we'll be doing on the floor. So I'm just gonna pull a mat out here and go into our hollow hold. So on the hollow hold, we'll start with um, the knees up towards your chest, the arms extended out over the head. If you find that too challenging, you can have your arms, arms down by the side, just hovering off the floor. Once you get better at that position and the lower part of the back is glued to the floor, not overextended, you start to straighten the legs out as much as you can. You, do, you shouldn't be able to get your hand in underneath your lower back like that. So that would be incorrect. And I, as I contract my abs and flatten my back into the floor by tilting my pelvis backwards, that will press the lower part of the back into the floor. I only lower the legs as much as I can. I could go for one leg at a time to kind of have the resistance there. As I get better, I should be able to go within about a foot to six inches off the floor without the lower part of the back coming off the floor. If the lower part of the back has come off the floor, then you've gone too low and you need to raise yourself back up. You might be able to hold it quite low for like five seconds, but if then the arch starts to creep in, you need to go back up to a higher level. Eventually, as you get better, as I said, you should be able to go to that position, which would be great, but obviously that takes time. The next exercise then, which is our last one, is our uh, toes pointed plank. So most people will do a normal plank in this position, um, but the problem for a lot of people is they'll over arch like that. Um, what we wanna do is try and eliminate the possibility of cheating and using the shoulders too much. So we go into a toes pointed position, which you can see in my toes. Again, don't over arch lower back, keep the abs tight, pull the pelvis under. As you get better, you can move into some variations like trying to move up and down in that position, some tap outs to challenge yourself a little bit more. Typically, we get people to hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Hope that helps guys. Hit subscribe if this video is helping you uh, with your uh, own training and injuries.